system called Rotar. Um, it's a steering system for our inter-rotor cultivators. Um, we have the problem uh, that inter-row crop cultivation is a, is a very tough and, and hard job to be done and to support the operators we introduce on this Agrotechnica this year our Rogard system which is a hydraulic frame which is controlled via a terminal and a camera. The camera is mounted on the frame of the, of the inter-row crop cultivator. Yeah. It has a double lens which have two different settings in respect of, of uh, light. Uh, ideally the camera looks on two, or it has to look minimum on two rows, better it is when it looks on three rows and automatically via uh, finding the rows the hydraulic frame puts the cultivator exactly in between the rows. So. We have several advantages with this. We have a, a quite big increase of operation speed. It is depending on the conditions in the field, this is clear, but in ideal condition we can go up to 12-14 kilometers per hour, which is a very high speed for, for inter-row crop cultivation. We get a very big increase what is uh, related to uh, precision, because the camera recognizes the rows and we can minimize the uh, the band which is not worked with the intro crop cultivator in combination with a finger weeder which is working in the row we can work the full surface so we can even fight the weeds in the row another advantage is as the steering system is doing the precision the operator of the tractor does not need to concentrate so much and he will not get tired so quickly um, and the steering system will correct mistakes done by the operator which might occur on some occasions. Um, we have a total uh, movement range of 500 millimeters, 500 centimeters, no 500 millimeters, so it can really uh, adjust to a very wide range and it's particularly very helpful when we talk about working in hills or in fields which are not straight because the camera will always centralize the, the cultivator on top of the road. As some of the farmers we've met that uh, are organic and, and uh, driving themselves crazy trying to do a good job of cultivating uh, really appreciate the new technology where they can put RTK in the tractor for uh, precision planting and then uh, as time goes on uh, after it's planted when the time comes to cultivate the RTK will give the tractor good direction and then this uh, uh, the new guidance system uh, will the row guard will, will, will take care of the uh, the cultivator keep it where it belongs and, and what's so special is its ability to perform well on hillsides where before there's always been problems any other features you can think of uh, Martin we, we, we'll, we have a video that we'll include with this documentary that will that will better show you what the machine does in the field. This is a, a, a guidance wheel that's part of the uh, a row crop guidance system. It's part wheel, part coulter. The wheel is for weight carrying. The coulter blade is for stability. Uh, the side shift mechanism on this uh, row guard system is much like uh, the, the side shift on a forklift, but you need more stability so it doesn't overreact. This is the front of the guidance system. It shows the uh, the hoses that connect to the tractor hydraulics and the uh, oil filter as well as the parking stand that you uh, put onto this unit when you when you go to uh, take it off the tractor. You cannot use a quick hitch on this that that 
destabilizes things, so it must be a direct connect to the tractor. This is uh, this shows the the hook, uh, much like on the hook on, a, on an American quick hitch that that captures the the pin on the uh, cultivator itself. So to the left is the tractor side, to the right is the implement or the row crop cultivator side of this guidance system. This is just another close-up of the tractor side of the row, row guard guidance system showing the, the slide on top and uh, a mechanism for uh, detecting whether the cultivator is in a raised position or lowered position by the way it touches the uh, the top link connecting the the row guard to the tractor in martin wagner's presentation on the row guard optical guidance system he talks in terms of 12 to 14 kilometers per hour as a, uh, a suggested optimum for travel speed um, that translates into 7.4 to 8.7 miles per hour. He also talks about the lateral adjustment as being 500 millimeters. That's a side-to-side -side, uh, adjustment of 19.7 inches, which means that uh, uh, the tractor can wander 9.85 inches to either side of the center line of your row and, 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 and not have you suffer from cultivator blight. This is another close-up of the back side or the, the, the cultivator side of the row guard system. You'll notice the hydraulic hoses are color-coded as well as a friendly reminder as to the function of each hose that helps when, when plumbing the, the row guard to your tractor. This photo shows the, the row guard as it would be attached to the Einbach Chopstar row crop cultivator. In the upper right you see the, the optical uh, portion of the system, the upright that attaches to the front of the toolbar plus the, the, uh, the seeing eyes, if you will. It also shows the, the parking stand for the Chopstar so when you're not hooked to the tractor the machine is stabilized properly. Uh, it also shows the uh, parallelogram crop shields, the, the, the finger weeders behind the vibrotines, uh, 